This tutorial is a presentation on how to transfer data from your GPS to Basecamp or from Basecamp to your GPS. The first thing we're going to do is to connect our GPS to the computer. At the moment we're using the basic maps and we don't have our GPS connected yet. As soon as it's connected we will be able to have the very nice map provided by Garmin. So the, div the device Rhino just appeared now and I can then switch to the topo screen map the one that are available inside. Here we go. So there are much uh, better maps. Okay, so let's have a look first what we've got inside our GPS. If I'm going inside internal devices, which is my uh, Rhino 650 here, I can see I've got different tracks and different waypoints inside the GPS. Here they are on the right side. So we've got all sorts of tracks and I also have some point. This one is somewhere where it shouldn't be. Here we go. Sometime when your GPS hasn't um, captured satellite yet, it will uh, it will be somewhere uh, in the Pacific or in Taiwan, so you can delete these files. It's much better now. Okay, so you've got all this data inside your GPS and you want to transfer them inside your My Collection in the right place. So what I was doing, uh, all these are related to a fire work that was done a while ago. So in My Collection, inside my computer, I've got the fire folder and uh, two different subfolders, 2014, 2015, and I've got different area here. So I'm just going to create a new list for this specific data inside my library. I'm going to do a right click in 2015, create a new list. I'm going to go call it uh, East NT. And what I want to do, I want to transfer this data inside the right place. So basically, these waypoints, these two waypoints, I want them to go inside um, East NT. So I can do that one after the other or I can also use my uh, control key and click and select the one I want as well. So I want to select these two and I'm just going to drag and drop them inside East NT. So now what I'm doing, I'm copying the data from the GPS inside Basecamp. And if I'm now looking at East NT, I have my two points. I don't have the tracks and the rest yet, but I only got these. So if I'm going back to my device again, and this time I want to copy the first two tracks, or let's say this one, inside East NT. So what I've done, I've just copied two waypoints and one track. And if I'm looking on, on my base cam library, so if I'm looking at East NT, I've got my two waypoints and my track. The other data uh, that are left, this, this waypoint and these two other tracks, I want them to go into area 20. So I can do the same thing. I can hold the control key and select multiple items. Got this tree, and I'm gonna drag and drop this data inside area 20. This is done. So in area 20, we've got one waypoint, two tracks. This one there one track there, and in East NT I've got what I want. I could disconnect my uh, GPS now, but I want to keep it um, for the, uh, because I want to keep the maps, and also I'm going to send some data from the library to, uh, to the GPS. Before we do this, I'm just going to have a look and uh, change a few things. I want to change the color and the name of these uh, tracks. So, Let's say I'm going to, uh, which one? Let's say this one in area 20. The name that we've got here is not suitable. And uh, I want to uh, change this a bit. I'm not going to edit the track. It's going to be in another tutorial. So what I can do, I can do a right click on the track. And I can go to rename. And I can call it um, like a date, 12 January 2015. That's now the name of the track. If I don't like the color, I can do a double click on the track. Okay, and that's give me access to the different points. So if I'm going to page down, I can see 
all the helicopters are moving around there. But I want to, what I want to do, I want to change the, uh, the color, which is at the top here. So from cyan to red. And I can also change the name if I want to. And you have also some other uh, thing available here. If I close this, now my track is red and it's got the right name. I can do the same thing with uh, this waypoint called LK here. I can uh, do a right click and rename if I want to. LK01. If I also want to change the little um, icon associated with the um, with this waypoint, I can double click on it. It will take me to the waypoint. I can also change the name, but I can change the, what they call the display and I can give it um, another icon. And I've got a round thing there. So very easy to modify and to adapt. Now you can, of course, move things around. If you realize that this uh, waypoint should be in Air 1 for 2014, you just have to drag and drop it and it will be moved. As well, as well. So it's a sort of a copy it straight away. So if we don't need it into area 20, we can delete it then. Select it and delete, and it will be in area 1 only. So very easy to manage your library with folders. Once you've imported the data from your GPS to Basecamp, and if you decide that you don't need this data anymore inside the GPS, you can go back to your GPS on internal storage and delete the data you don't want. So if you think that all these waypoints and these few tracks are not necessary anymore, you just select what you want and just do right-click delete. So what we've done, we've deleted them from your GPS. So GPS don't have this data anymore, but they're still available in your collection, in your library, inside the computer. So the thing now is that I want to um, create a tracks and a few waypoints in uh, Basecamp and then send them into the GPS because I want to do some work on the field. So let's say I want to go with the helicopter to do some different areas. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's say in 2015, I'm just going to create a simple list right now, a new list, 2015, called uh, uh, New Work. And inside this list, I'm just going to simply create a few waypoints. So let's say I'm going to click on the red flag to create a new waypoint. And I'm going to create uh, one here, one there. One there. So I've got this gender name, so I don't realize this, uh, this name is put for me, so I'm going to put uh, start. You can click on it and click another time, it will you, allow you to rename it, or you can do a right click rename. And this one is uh, uh, and, and this one is review. Okay, and um, I can also, uh, if I want to, double click on it and change some of the flag if I want to. This for the start, double click, change the icon again, one that's for the end, and the refuel maybe something like blue. Okay, I got my starting point. Very nice. Oh no, I, s I was still uh, with the uh, new waypoint activated, so I click and I've made a mistake. So what I can do, I can just select this number three, delete, and I can then change to the pan, and I can move things around. Now what I want to do, I want to create uh, maybe two tracks. So I want to create, let's say, the first one. So I'm going to create, I'm going to click on new track here, left click, from the start button, and I'm going to do, let's say, this, and then I'm going to refuel here. So my last one is going to be a double click on refuel. Okay, and you name it track. And I'm going to do a right click rename and call it uh, 001. I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm still on new track. From the refuel, this time I'm going to click like that. And I'm going to just do a bit more this. I want to go and see in this river here what's going on. Following this carbon, and I will come back 
there and then I'll do a double click. So I've got my second track on and I'm going to rename it rename 002. I've done a really good job for my new work uh, inside my new work list and I want to take that with me uh, in the plane or in the car but I want to put it into my GPS so I'm just going to click on the pen just to be sure I can move things around uh, and just from I forgot about this I'm just going to change the color of it as well so if I'm doing a double click on my track 001 I'm going to change the color to green sorry green okay and the second one I want it to be uh, probably blue very good so I, oh, I still have you can separate and if you cannot really see everything you've got you can go in the middle here and move things around and organize them properly same thing for this so I want to move all this data inside my GPS and so it's very simple I just have to if I want to select them all like that I can do a selection or I can select with the control key and click the one I want, I don't want to start or I want to start, or you can do them one by one. The easiest way is probably to do this like that. And what I have to do is just drag and drop all this data inside internal storage. So this data is still on my computer and at the same time it's going to be on my GPS. And if I click on internal storage now to see what's inside the GPS, I can see I've got all my old data and I got my three new waypoints and my track. So this is how we transfer data from into the um, the GPS using Basecamp.